everybody. I'm here today to do my January wrap up and February 2015 TBR. Um, I read a grand total of, wait for it, 21 books this month. Oh my goodness. It must have been because of the re couple readathons I did, but because of those, I got like so many books done under my belt. I'm like super proud of myself. Granted, um, about a quarter of the books I read this month were graphic novels, and about a quarter of them were children's books, but I'm still proud of myself. Um, I'm really excited to show you the books I got finished. I'm also going to leave a link to my um, readathon TBR wrap up videos down below so you can get more information on those books since I don't have them all here with me anymore. So, the first book I read this month. Like the first day of the year, I finished Tiger's Promise by Colleen Hauck. It is the prequel novella to the Tiger's Curse series. I loved it. It was so good. Um, I actually borrowed it from my sister. That's why I don't have it here to show you. Um, but I might put a picture up on the screen somewhere for some of these if they're not in my other videos, but we'll have to see. Um, the next book I read this month was a five-star book. An art copy I got by chance and it's already in the ranking for my number one book of the year already because it's gonna be hard to beat. it's gonna be a hard one to beat. and that was if you haven't already guessed a court of thorns and roses by Sarah J Moss beautiful book beautiful cover beautiful story I loved everything about it five out of five stars hands down for sure it was fantastic um, the next book I read, out of the um, depths of Sarah J. Moss's book, I picked up a light read, which I mentioned in my readathon wrap up, Miss Piggle Wiggle from the Mrs. Piggle Wiggle Treasury. So I just read the first book in this, and that was really good. I enjoyed it. It was cute. Um, the next book I read, oh, and Mrs. Piggle Wiggle was by Betty McDonald, illustrated by Hilary Knight. The next book I read was a graphic novel I had picked up recently at a book sale, and it is Cardboard by Doug Tenapple. I gave this to Nipple. Um, I really enjoyed this. This was um, a very beautiful um, story. Had some dark elements in it, but I really enjoyed it overall. I'm very glad I picked this up, and it is super cheap, so... Um, the next book I finished after that was Ensnared by A.G. Howard. This is the, this is an art copy of the third and final book in the Splinter trilogy, um, that's retelling of Alice in Wonderland. I loved it. It was great. Super fantastic. Glad I read it. Finished the series. Another finished series. Check. The next one I read was another graphic novel. Um, it was Finder Talisman by Carla Speed McNeil. Um, when I originally saw this and picked it up, I thought, I figured it was part of a graphic novel series, but from the back description and kind of flipping through it, it seemed like it could have been read as a separate story. I don't think that was the case after finishing it. Um, I did enjoy it though. Um, the characters were pretty dark, um, as far as the futuristic struggle and everything. Um, and it was just all uh, black and white pictures, but very visually stunning in parts. I am glad I read it. I kind I do kind of wish though that I would have picked up the first few before giving this one a go. Um, the next book I picked up and read was a children's book that I've been wanting to read for a while because I hadn't read it, and it uh, seemed to be pretty much a classic, is My Father's Dragon by Ruth Stiles Gannett, illustrated by Ruth Chrisman Gannett. And this was just a cute story about a boy who goes to save a dragon from a jungle island. He like, it's a little adventure quest story, has some um, cute illustrations in there, and I really enjoyed it, really quick, did it in one sitting easy. The next uh, book I finished was a book but it was an illustrated version of the book so there was lots of pictures in it it was the illustrated version of Stardust by Neil Gaiman loved that as well it was a fantastic read so glad I finally read it I've been meaning to read that story for so long I had seen the movie but just read the book this month and I'm so glad I used, got the illustrated version from the library I'm definitely gonna be have to pick up 
a copy of my own of that book soon. Um, and the next one I finished, I think this was the last one of the readathon, was the Girl Genius Omnibus Volume 1. It was a graphic novel as well. It's probably more than five. It's definitely probably about half of these books were graphic novels instead of just a quarter, but um, the Girl Genius Omnibus was by Phil Folio, and it was a steampunky, futuristic graphic novel. It had the first several volumes in it, so I got through it really quickly. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think I gave it four stars. This next one I was really excited that I ended up picking up this month and finishing. And now I have to finish the rest of the series because I really want to. It is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I had not read this yet and I'd been dying to read it um, ever since everybody had been telling me how good it was in the Victorian era and everything. This is the first book in the Infernal Devices series, the prequel series slash trilogy to the Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Definitely liking this series a lot more than the Mortal Instruments series so far. I can't wait to pick up the last two volumes of this. And I believe that I gave that four stars as well. Um, the next book I picked up for something a little lighter, less heavy, was another finishing series. It was I Love the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. This is an arc I got uh, last year, a few months ago, and I finally picked it up. So glad I actually finished another series this month. I'm doing really well with my series finishing, and that makes me happy. Um, this was really cute. I think I liked Lola better than this one. It's been so long since I read Anna that I'm not sure which one of those I liked better, but um, pretty much all of this book was wonderful. There was just a couple chapters near the end that was too high school drama-ish for me. Um, so without those few, like, really dramatic high school annoyingness in there, it would have been perfect, but um, I still really enjoyed it. The first half of the book was constantly cracking me up. So glad I read it. Um, just wish those last few chapters towards the end wouldn't have been in there or would have been written a little bit differently. But so glad I read it. Very happy to have finished this trilogy. The next book I read and finished was Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin. Been, I heard uh, great things about this, so I ordered it on Book Outlet and I read it this month and it was very good. It was very unique. It's about a girl who has amnesia and trying to ask kind of has to figure out who she was and who she wants to be and who she is and um, the relationship she wants to have in her life now that she's kind of a new person and has to figure it out and it was really unique and different and funny and I loved it. It was really good. So I'm going to be keeping this on my bookshelf for quite a, uh, quite a while. Um, the next chunk was another graphic novel binge I did at the library when I saw some there that I wanted to read. The first one being Foiled by Jane Yolen. Um, I picked this up because I originally saw the sequel graphic novel Foiled Again on Book Outlet for sale and I was like, huh, that sounds like a good graphic novel. And so one time when I was at the library I saw the first one there and I picked it up so I could read it. Um, I didn't think the characters were very likable overall, but the illustrations were beautiful and the story was pretty interesting still. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up the second one or not, but um, I definitely I did enjoy it overall. I think I gave it three and a half or four stars. Um, this next one was really cool. It was called Daybreak by Brian Ralph, another graphic novel. Um, it's just a month of graphic novels for me, I guess, mostly, but that's okay. It's got, it's one of my resolutions for the year is to read more graphic novels, so I'm good, doing good at that. Um, it was called Daybreak by Brian Ralph, and this was a book about, a graphic novel about zombies, like the zombie apocalypse was happening, but all the characters in the graphic novel were talking to you as the reader, as like one of the characters in the story, so it was really interesting. So. Even though you didn't have any lines as the reader, the characters would like talk to you and you'd kind of like figure out what was happening based on what the characters were saying to you. So if you enjoy graphic novels and don't mind the idea of reading about a zombie apocalypse type of situation, um, definitely check out Daybreak by Brian Ralph. It was really good. 
really intriguing, really different, and the artwork was beautiful, of course. Um, the ending left something to be desired, though, so I'm gonna have to look around and see if there's a sequel or something, because the ending was a little too abrupt for my taste. I kind of, <laughs> kind of was upset that how it ended, but I don't know. I don't know. It was still really good. I just wish it would have ended differently or better or something. The next graphic novel I read was Set to Sea by Drew Wing. Wang? Wang? Um, this was just a cute, short little graphic novel. It was like this big. I, s I stood in the library and read it just while I was there, so I didn't have to check it out. Um, it's just tells a story. There's not even that many words. It's mostly images. It just tells a story about this guy who gets kidnapped by pirates and is forced to become a sailor pirate, basically, and how throughout his life he eventually falls in love with the sea and the pirate life and just how he goes through life as a pirate and it was oh and he's also a poet so <laughs> he wants to become a poet and then he ends up becoming a pirate poet and so it was really cute um fast read I really enjoyed that one so check that out too if you're interested um the next book I finally picked up I'm so glad I finished this one too um, it was Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick. This is the um, same author that did the invention of Hugo Cabret. And if you don't already know, his books are done throughout um, illustration and words. So it uh, makes it for a very interesting, beautiful read. And the cover, oh my gosh, the cover. Without the dust jacket is as beautiful if not more so than the dust jacket. So I'm really happy I picked this up and finished it. Um, really happy that I read this. It's been sitting on my shelf for my unread shelf for far too long. So I finished that. And then another book I just picked up and read at the library while I was there because it was one of those small, uh, short graphic novels. Again, was The Clouds Above by Jordan Crane. Um, this was a story about a kid who is late to school to class um, but ends up running away because he doesn't want to get in trouble with his teacher and he ends up finding these random stairs on the roof of the school and they lead into the clouds and this, these adventures he has um, up in the clouds that are solid and they can walk on and he has his loyal cat with him um, to help him in his in his little adventure um, and it's pretty cute. I enjoyed it. And great artwork, as always. Usually comes with graphic novels, so. Okay, the last thing I actually have here with me, so I'll do those. Um, this one I recently hauled. So you might have seen it already, but it is a little engine that could by um, Wadi Piper. This is just a classic children's story that I wanted to add to my collection. And I read it as soon as I bought it, basically. Just such cute illustrations about perseverance and not giving up. And um, I'm just happy to add it to my children's book collection because I really love this story. And the second to last book I finished this month was the first book in the Lux Beginnings bind-up called Obsidian. The second book is called Onyx. I had some problems with this first book. I I don't know. I felt like the first seven chapters just kept like repeating themselves. Like the characters kept going back and forth and back and forth. And I was getting kind of tired of that. Um, towards the middle it picked up a little. I Like the story was really intriguing. But I don't know. The, the characters at the beginning... Their personalities were kind of annoying me and I don't know I I just I have mixed feels about this first one of the Lux series but I've heard the series gets a lot better as you go forward so I'll probably um, read the second one which starts right here eventually I just needed a break before I continued on <laughs> needed something different to um, get a different pacing or something. I don't know. Not completely sold on this series, but I am going to give the second one a try since it came in the bind up. And if I like that one enough, I'm, I'll probably pick up the rest of the series. But for now, I'm just kind of so-so on it. Not sure if I'm going to 
continue on or not uh, through the second one. And the last book I have to show you, I finished just in the time, nick of time for the end of the month. I'm so happy I read this. It was so phenomenal. It was Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore, a novel by Robin Sloan. This is a fictional adult novel. Um, it starts off just as this guy who needs a job, so he finds this 24-hour bookstore and he applies and it's kind of, um, he just thinks it's going to be this whatever blah job, but then it, um, he works the night shift, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. And the more he, the longer he works there, the more he starts noticing these mysterious things that start happening, mysterious customers that come in, and the mysterious books on the shelves in the back of the store. And it's such a beautiful, inspiring, lovely, wonderful, endearing book. And I think everybody should read this. Everybody especially book lovers, but there's just so much packed into these less than 300 pages. I just, yeah. And it ends like with so much depth and makes you think and it's so beautiful. Definitely check it out. Five out of five stars easily. Definitely check it out if you haven't read it. And the cover glows in the dark. If that's not enough to get you, I don't know what is. So those were all the books I read this month in January 2015. Now I'll show you some of the books I might be reading in February. Um, the first one, of course, is one I've been in a book group and a book club for a while, and that is Father, Son, and the Other One by Jeff Kennedy. Um, we've been slowly working our way through this. The last couple weeks we watched um, a movie instead of reading chapter or discussing chapters out of the book. So we're behind on our reading. Um, I thought it was this would be over by the end of February, but it looks like now it might be like halfway through March or the end of March. We'll just have to see, but I'll still be re reading that one a chapter a week if, if all continues as planned. This next one I'm really excited to pick up. I haven't started it yet, but I did put it in my Goodreads as currently reading because I'm planning on starting it very soon. It is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I haven't read any of Morgan Matson's book, books yet. I definitely want to read all of them eventually, but this is the one I owned, so I have heard amazing things about this, and I am super excited to read this one. I know it's not summer, but I kind of want to be in the summer mood because it's really cold outside where I live right now, and I kind of want to be reading about a book where it's really warm and nice weather. If I get brave i might also pick up the second book in the lux bind up onyx not sure yet we'll have to see where my mood takes me i might put this off for a little bit longer still but i might pick that one up also there is also a stack of books over here that i might be picking up here is a quick preview of some of the books i might decide to read So those are some of the other books. These are kind of my most anticipated TBRs right now. So that is sort of a quick rundown of the books I might pick up this month. I don't really know. My mood kind of shifts around, so I don't really know what I'll be in the mood for. But we'll find out in my next wrap-up. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and keep reading. See you in my next video. Bye.